Welcome back to Jenny LeClue. I'm Paul of Thebes, and we're going looking for a... Hmm, ooh, search hold. Looking in... Je ooh. Looking in... Is she going to give her a bow? Hold. What? What do I do? Oh, that one! I beg your pardon. A new journal! To wow. Jenny, there was nothing better than the aroma of a fresh leather notebook. She was giving her a bowl. It smelled like mystery. It smells like something. Without missing a beat, she did what any detective worth their salt would do. Oh, wonder. She decorated it. Oh. Oh, that's the sweets. <laughs> now, move. Oh, oh, I'd get it. Oh, can I rotate it? Oh, yeah. I think I can make it bigger. Yeah, I'm going to do change sticker. Going to say uh, drop. Nice. And do I get more? Select, pick up, delete, add. Oh, cool. Oh yeah. Wanna rotate. No no, nice and big. How about uh, that? Yeah. Let's add something else. Let's add a nice sparkle. Um let's do it like let me see. There, like that. Um, let's add another one. Let's, let's go. A love heart. And. Sorry. Now, let's do a little, little one up the top. We. Oh, I know. I have a better idea. Can we can we get more of them? We can. And add another one of them. Uh, uh. Not that small. And another one. It's not rotated right, but hey, could be worse. Could be worse. A little bit bigger, kind of a bit smaller. All right, let's add more. Oh, hold on. Change page. Oh, I collect stickers. Okay, I can decorate it more later on. All right. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Pick up, delete, add, exit. A great detective never gives up. A new journal up. meant Love new more. adventures. Yes. She imagined all the thrilling cases that would soon fill its pages. Mm. And on the first page, her mother had written an inscription. Oh, she wrote A it on the second page. never gives up. Love, Mom. On page two. Move? No way. How come that comes in there? That's weird. Zoom. I love no. it. No. Thanks, Mom. Why do I press the wrong button? Jenny, Dude. I wanted to talk about, um, to say, uh. Somewhere in the back of Jenny's highly caffeinated brain, an alarm bell was ringing. Her mum was hesitating. What could be causing her to act so out of character? Do tell. Tap. Tap, tap. Tippity tap. What am I doing? Tap. Oh. Limited eye contact. Warrior. Defensive body language. Rising ring. Lost arms. Missing rings. Oh, brow. No. Jenny saw it coming from a mile away. Her mother was about to get 
emotional. I really gotta go. No, Jenny, wait. I need your help. What? Really? Jenny couldn't believe her ears. It was extremely unusual for her mother to ask for help. It must be something very important. Tracing the steps of a deranged killer? A cold case that only someone with Jenny's expertise could solve? I misplaced the students' essays on decapitation. Hmm. See if you can find them for me before you leave. I have to run. Wow, the case of the misplaced papers. Are you sure you want to trust me with such a complex task? I have no doubt you'll be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Jenny was unsure if her mother was unable to detect sarcasm, <laughs> or just really good at ignoring it. Help mom. Okay mom, I'll find them before I leave. On one condition. Yes? You have to let me help grade them. One of Jenny's favorite pastimes was grading papers. Um, Nothing pleased her more than giving a big shiny F to an overconfident <gasps> student. Don't push your luck. Please. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Find the papers much and go straight home. But I'm meeting Keith tonight. No buts, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of being poisoned for your class. Well then, I have the perfect antidote. You're staying with your cousin this weekend, and you still need to pack. This again? Look, I've considered your offer, Mom, and I'm going to have to decline. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'll be back late tonight. There's meatloaf in the fridge. What's he doing in there? Question logic. So you don't trust me to take care of myself this weekend, but you do trust me to fix dinner and not burn the house down? Jenny LeClue, it's been a difficult week. Could you please just do what you're told for once and stop asking questions? Fine. And try to stay out of trouble. When do I ever get into trouble? Does that mean we're about to get into trouble? I have to All look. Right. Let's find these papers and get out of here. Journal updated. How do I interact? How do I get my journal? Okay. That's my, that's my journal. Okay. The case of the dead lab assistant. Case closed. Wait, my nerd thing keeps coming up. The great detective. No. This page three four. Why, 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 my, why, why, why? I don't know. Um. Change tab. Map. Find a map. Keep it here. Ooh, choosiness. You chose a creepy tune for the mysterious man to whistle. I see. These are my choices. Hmm. Dedicated strong will, a direct, brilliant leader who inspires others, a jack of all trades and a fountain of knowledge, but you can be flexible and emotionally distant. Okay. It's gonna be one of those things. Exam. Exit. What does this do? This brings up the search. Yes, search for the missing things. Search this cupboard. Nothing. That's good cool music though. Search the jam. Maybe more on the jam itself. How about the coffee cup? No, how about we just... Can we exit? Okay. Move around. Okay, I get it. Examine jam jar. One of Jenny's earliest oh. memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's the perfect substitute for blood in class demonstrations. And better tasting than the pig's blood the textbook recommends. Yuck. Yuck. Dude, look, look, where are your, where are your big shoes gone? It looks like you're walking on pointy sticks.
New salmon skeleton. Looking rather trim today, Ethan. <laughs> New diet? <laughs> What's the matter? Lost your funny bone? <laughs> Oh, I see something underneath there. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You needed real life experience. And Jenny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. Trust their instincts. Thinks like a killer. Makes it personal. Reveals their hand too soon. Oh, never. Okay. Never makes it personal. Never reveals their hand too soon. Never leaves their coffee unattended. Never makes assumptions. Always thinks like a killer. Always thrusts their, trusts their instincts. And they don't throw them. Like, follows, always follows the evidence and always turns into their... Oh, in their report on time. Uh, essay on decapitation dismemberment due next week. Knows when to ask for help. Never ever. I can, I can. Okay, there's nothing there to actually look at. But if we look on the floor, look at this. It's one of the students' term papers. Yeah. You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Hmm. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Turn, turn, turn. Grab, hold, move. There we go. Ta da! Found you. Time to get out of here. Get out of here. The door's the other way. Please do not touch. Hmm. Someone must be running an experiment. Gross. Pretty soon it's gonna sprout legs. Maybe. I can't do anything else on the exit. Mm, my journal is updated. It's important. Some growing, someone's growing a strange green liquid. Wait, how come my stickers are on the wrong page? What's going on? It's buggy. Leave Jenny looked around the room one last time. Was she ready to leave? No. No. There must be something else here. Come on, Jenny, run! Where's those big boots, man? Are they only for the demo? Let's Jenny leave. looked around the room one last yes. time. Was she ready to leave? Yes, she is. She's ready to leave. Ding! Okay, so she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. Walk, run. Ah, we can run. Yay! Birdie gone. Pretty gone, pretty gone. Look at these pumpkins. Wait, I wanted to go to the pumpkins. What the? Exactly. What a mess. I should investigate. You should. Oh, now I can go. And look at the... Fun though. Ugh. 
Aha. Oops. Still not getting these controls right. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to, but Jenny, to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. Waiting. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. You should. The case of the puzzling postcard. Now we're getting somewhere, folks. I bet you're excited. The notice board was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed yeah. anyone can find anything on here. How else would you stick it up? Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says, a great detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Tap, tap, tippity tap, 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 tippity. Tippity, tippity, tap, tap. Mystic healing glory. A monthly meetup star. Stick for sale. Like the choose. Pop up party party. This Tuesday, Missing Cat has to travel. Aha. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? Trevor. Oh, oh Star Curfew. Oh, Stay no. safe, Santa. Oh, that's extended so curfew much. hours again. Why? Why? 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous. But What's necessary. Power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. Why? It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds vaguely familiar. Trevor? So wait a minute, I wanna I wanna talk about Trevor, the missing cat. Hey mister. Aha. Hey! You! Oh, hi there! What are you doing back there? Don't wanna know. Move well, along, John. pruning. But then I discovered this cerulean bugberry bush. Discovered? These bushes are all over Arthurton. Actually? This is an incredibly rare bloom. There's nothing rare about Arthurton. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. Okay. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark, berries that emit a bioluminescent mist, and flowers with nectar as sticky as superglue. Where? I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strasberry in his greenhouse. Oh, anyway, boy, I should Dean get back Strasbourg to work. Get all this stuff, I huh? want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Okay, I don't think you have to worry about him. The way he was saying. Perfect! <laughs> Curious. Postcard scrap. Toto. <laughs> to do. Look out for remaining pieces. Curfew at nine. When will this madness end? A student gardener, annoyingly knowledgeable about Arthurton plant life, works with Dean Strawsbury in his greenhouse. And who knows what else he gets up to. Hmm. Can we filter out the noise here? Okay, so that doesn't work. You just go along with the story. Hi, little birdies. Look at signs. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Party. Oh. Left. Left. 
I said left! Come on! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... busy. I should probably lead them to it. Okay. Is this the... oh! Hello, Mr. Strasbury. How are you today? A jolly gentleman. The dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? The dean had dedicated his life to Gumbolt, and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasbury. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Great excuse for a party, though. seeing his head removed from his <laughs> What will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. Is that a spoon it's in his pocket? It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. What do you mean, we? Do you think they made my belly too big? Be nice. It's probably just the perspective, Mr. Strausberry. <laughs> you are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Speaking of which, have you been practicing your detective skills? I'm practicing a course, moment in time. <laughs> well then, I have a challenge for you. You do? I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. Was it a whole a challenge? A hugely difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. Hmm. Respect them some other time. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Uh, oh, okay. Ah. Sorry, I just have to be somewhere. I wanted to. Of course. No. I understand. I thought you were going to say something what? like no. No, that's not right. Jenny would never turn down an opportunity to flex her intellectual muscles. So she did what the Dean asked. I was thinking. <sighs> Fine. Anything for you, Mr. Strasbury. I thought you were oh, going to say, like, you know. Wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. The interrogation of Dean Strasbury. And he left on his mustachio. Well, there's a stain on his collar. Oh, oh no, there's, there's flakes of something on his um, bow tie. I, don't, I guess I don't have to use that. Uh, how do I. Yeah, interact. Powder. Dandruff? No. Hair? Sugar. It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. He has sugar. a mustache. <laughs> he could have dandruff in his mustache. <laughs> Gumball logo. Basketball game today. Number one fan. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumball moonbeams. And not just because his son was a prominent figure on the team. Well, a bench warmer anyway. Huh. A spoon. Forgetful, under stress. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. I reckon that is. I can't just. Can I use the mouse? No. Oh. There. I guess I'm not supposed to get the. Oh, stain here. There's a button missing. We don't want that information. Watch. 
Solid gold. Old, like so old, at least a hundred years. Family heirloom. Nearly an hour slow. His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my. That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. <laughs> my head's not screwed on today. Thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh, really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, well, of course she wouldn't. It's nothing important. Why are you meeting, then? It's just, um, she's helping me finalize my... my plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, that's it. My retirement party. Thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Strausberry? Of course. Now let me just fix my watch before I forget. <laughs> so what you have for breakfast? Now, where were we? The ring. That's important. It's shiny. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Looks like Latin. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. The Strausberry family had been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And hey. nothing is as important as the truth. For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasbury. Well, I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? Oh! Hitchhikers. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clingy. I will say, I am looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. Huh? <laughs> You're retiring, not dying. <laughs> That's one big belly. His eyes aren't dilated, are they? Where's the other hand? This is supposed to be one, but it's not coming up. Ah, okay. Ah. Blood. Doggy, no sweat. Seeds? No sweets, sir. <laughs> Texture and a lot of fruit. It's jam. didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. I have to get another one. And I have to do the thing. Oh, this one. Scribbly, scribbly. Shaky penmanship. And usually cluttered. Lots of revisions. A thick bundle of note cards poked out of the Dean's pocket. 
What's he keeping so close to his chest? You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. So, what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Strasbury. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. You do? What did the Dean eat for breakfast? Well. That one. And that one. And, oh. And that one. Powdered sugar in the Dean's bow tie. Maybe let's take the spoon off. I guess we're gonna need the two. Make deduction! Likely used to stir coffee. Powdered sugar pastry, jam, fit. Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts. Solved. Don't you just love it? What else can I tell about the Dean's morning? Oh, his pocket watch and his spoon. Oh, okay, yes. Dispense with the spoon and go ring and the gumbo pin. I was busy. Nope, that's not what I meant. Let me oh. try that again. Right. Interesting. The spoon. Pocket watch. Let's get rid of those two then. And go with the pocket watch and the shirt button. Now how many carries a pen? Forty by myself, got to wine. Also signs of a distracted man. The Dean had neglected to dean. wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. Which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. Yep, that might be. Fair enough. You had a donut for breakfast. Yes? I'm guessing... Raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. Hmm. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Strasbury. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. My, my. You really are a Leclou. Your father would be so proud. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. <laughs> and I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? Pardon? Nothing. See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny LeClue. Hmm. The journal's updated, Jenny. Hmm. Well, we'll find out what he's nervous about in the next episode. Thanks for watching. All the best.